Welcome guys to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform the look of your desktop to another level and how to transform it from this to this. So if you want to make your desktop look better, stay till the end of the video. And before we start, if you haven't subscribed my channel, just go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and you will find bunch of other useful videos and tons of other tips so just go and check it out so the first thing you need to do is download the rent meter okay you can download it from the official website of it rentmeter.net and once you're inside the website just scroll down and click on the download final and once you have downloaded it just install this setup rent meter next install and after installing, we need to download this theme folder. I have given the link in the description, so go and click on it. Once you have downloaded the theme folder, just extract it. And here inside you will find icons, your theme and sunset wallpaper. So. Open the wallpaper and set it as your background. Once you have done that, go to your theme folder and install all these Renmeter skins one by one. And now go and open your print meter. So here from Ematica we will pick the download. Let's just hide our desktop icons. So let's just make things a bit clear and clean. Okay, and then we will pick upload. And from this coordinate section you can change the position. And from elementary section, we will pick analog. And next, we will come down and we'll pick grades. Low. And then we will pick from the flat blue theme. We will pick power load basically this is a shortcut to shut down and restart your computer and then we will pick volume you can decrease and increase your volume from here and then we will pick from intransitive the battery details about the battery and next we will come down and take coach from midnight mount. Next we can pick clock from the Robic. This is our clock. The last one we will pick we will pick visualizer from the simple clean. So I would love these old things to be on my desktop. Okay, the next thing we need to do is customize these old things. So let's go ahead and do it. So let's put it here. Here. Let's just hide our taskbar. And right click and go to edit skin here we can basically customize our visualizer okay let's play a song here 
and I'm going to show you something what visualizer can do okay let's pick up a song okay yeah that's what I needed you can see these music waves now you can customize it according to yourself basically you can play it yourself and you can customize the way you want but if you want to follow me you can do that I'm just trying to change the values according to my wish and how I want it to be so I'm gonna change these values Okay, let's save it. And once you have done, just come here back to your uh, rain meter. And then... Uh, okay, select visualizer. And refresh it. When you refresh it, and then you will see the difference. So, let's just do it here again. Okay, let's go to edit again. I want to do something else here. Okay, let's come down and I want to change the width here to 500, minus 500. Perfect, yeah, there we have. I've just shortened the width of this line here. And then I would like to also decrease the width of these music waves this frequencies okay okay minus one that's it i just want it to be beautiful and thin and then i would like to increase the y-axis to far Okay, let's save it. Refresh. Okay, let's let's change the sensitivity to thirty. Refresh. Yeah, that's pretty fine here. But I've got something here out of the line. There's extra music waves there. We need to fix it. Okay. Uh. Let's just change the value of x to 3 and also this one and okay we are fine with that and this is how you can customize your everything okay and on this volume I can hear if you left click it increases the volume if you right click it decreases the volume and again you can customize the way you want your desktop okay this is your shortcuts for shutdown lock and restart and this is details about your battery download and upload and you can also customize your uh, coat the position anything and if you double click on it and you can also change the codes you can write anything you want you can put your goals your daily goals and as a reminder you can do anything and you can also add some extra codes here and you can also write the name of the author. This is how I want my desktop to be. It's, it's very good, very clean, and uh, it has all the things that I need. Okay, guys, I did not want to make this video so long and boring. So the next step is to download Nexus Setup. And for that reason, I have made the second part. So make sure to keep watching the second part right after this so that you should know 
how to fully customize your desktop and give it a better look. So thank you guys for watching. Hit like, subscribe and keep watching the second part.